Hello viewer, my name is Nicole Maranga from Loreto Convent Valley Road and you're watching Science Hub. I am here with my colleagues Nama Shiramba and Delphin Anyangu. And today we are going to do chemistry from one, the topic being introduction to chemistry. Chemistry is a study of structure, composition and properties and the reaction to matter. And um, we're going to start by discussing matter. What is matter? Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space, and it exists in three forms. These are liquids, gases, and solids. I'm going to start by discussing liquids. The properties of liquids. Liquids have an indefinite shape because they take the shape of the container they are put into, and they have a definite mass and a definite volume. Liquids flow easily, and examples of liquids are water, kerosene, and petrol. Solids. Solids exist in three forms. They have a definite shape, a definite mass, and a definite volume. Examples of solids are, sol are stones, plastics, and chalk. Gases. Gases have a definite mass, an indefinite volume, and an indefinite shape, and they, is they easily flow. Examples of gases are oxygen and carbon dioxide. Um, there are three types of matter will respond to certain changes according to the temperature. Now let us discuss drugs. Drugs are any substance that alters the normal functioning of the body. It exists in two states, natural and manufactured. Now what is drug abuse? Drug abuse is using a drug for any other substance purpose except for what it is meant for a dosage a dosage is the amount of of the amount of the drug that you are supposed to take within a certain time a prescription is a letter or a document written by a doctor giving information about the type of drug and the amount of drug you are supposed to take and that this, at what time you're supposed to take the drug there are certain roles of chemistry in the society such as manufacturing of drugs to fight diseases, manufacturing of food to fight hunger, manufacturing of fabrics, for example, nylon, and plastics for roofing, manufacturing of detergents, and production of fuels. There are certain career fields that require learning chemistry, and these are chemical engineers, veterinary officers, hospital nurses and doctors, chemistry teachers, pharmacists, and beauticians. And now, we're going to talk about the school laboratory. What is a laboratory? A laboratory is a room with, equipped with necessary facilities for carrying out experiments in science. And why are experiments done? They are done to learn about changes in substances. A laboratory needs careful management and care and requires the cooperation of everyone who uses it. A, lab, a laboratory needs carefully man, careful management and care and requires the cooperation of everyone who uses it, as my colleague has said. And right now, we are going to see the common laboratory chemicals. For example, distilled water, acids, bases, and salts. Lab apparatus. An apparatus are uh, equipment used in the lab by a chemist. Um, apparatus are mainly made of wood, plastic, and glass. This is because plastic, glass, and wood do not react to many chemicals and you can easily see through them. 